morning my lovelies welcome back to Trisha Pack Beauty it's some ungodly hour um it's about quarter past seven in the morning and I've been awake for a couple of hours it tends to be the case I'm up and I just came up and decided to put my face on the camera was set up because I've been filming videos so I just thought I would film this so I'm going to put my face on I've got some bits um, that you've seen before, old favourites. Then I've got a couple of bits from Lola makeup. One of them I've had previously, um, but they sent me a few little bits. And I've also got something from Mac that I've not used yet. So it just felt like a good idea to do it all on camera. I may be going out today, a little bit later. So I'm going to put on the um, Body Shop Skin Defence SPF 50. I do apply a lot of SPF, as you can see. I really. I like to whack it on but you'll see that this is such a lightweight product and it disappears into the skin. I'm going to use one of my favourites which is the Hourglass Illusion um, Hyaluronic Skin Tint. This is an SPF of 15 and it's in light beige. It feels really thick when you have it on the back of your hand but it just blends and gives the most beautiful sort of natural look really to the skin which I really like now. It's odd isn't it when we're really young we cover our beautiful skin up with layers of foundation and as we get older when our skin isn't at its best we want to go more lightweight. Nature of the beast. I have um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which is coming to the end, I can see rather worryingly. Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, and I have Light Neutral. I thought you were all getting a little bit sick of seeing the NARS that I've completely become obsessed with, um, as you will know. You've been watching my videos. But this is my second favourite concealer after the NARS. I'm just going to use a Real Techniques setting brush just to press that in place. I have um, the MAC Paint Pot and this is in Perky which is a really nice peachy tone. If you've got sort of really tired eyes, it's such a great colour because it's a sort of a natural pick-me-up really. And I just think it's a really happy colour. I love this shade. Very delicate, very subtle, but a really, really nice colour. Right, you may have already seen because I'm using the mirror. I have the Tanya Burr Birthday Suit Eye Palette. She's brought a couple more out which look lovely, but I'm not going to get them. I'm going to be good and um, resist because I actually have no more room for any more palettes. It's as simple as that. Right, I'm going to use the little shimmer one, which is Marzipan, which is just a very sort of soft mink um, colour. And I'm just going to press that over the perky, so it'll just stick to the perky and just give a little bit of an iridescent finish. Right, I'm going to use Cocoa Sugar, which again is a shimmer. It's a slightly darker shade, but because of the iridescent factor, it's just going to lift it a little bit rather than using a matte shadow. And I'm just going to do that half of the mobile lid and take it outwards and up. Right, so we've taken the whole colour sort of under the eye as well. So I'm using the Eye Lure um, Amplifier, Brow Amplifier. This is in dark brown. And then I have the Lola Kajal and Eyeliner. Um, I've used the Kajal, so we're going to use the Felt Tip Eyeliner. Just a very, very delicate line today. Thank you. 
this is really good because it's got such a fine point you can really get into the eye corner but you can also get a very very delicate edge as well such a nice eyeliner i like it because you can either do a straight line straight off freehand or you can just dab with it along the lashes and it makes it really easy for you it's actually balanced quite well even though it's a long one you've got good control so yes i've had that one before i like that one um another one that doesn't transfer which is important to me because my eyes are sort of drooping now obviously and sometimes colour does get transferred so it's important to me to find things like this that don't transfer to sort of just under the brows and you get that black line where your eyeliner has been. One of my favourites, Gosh Lumi Drops and this is the Rose Blush. I'm just going to use my uh, finger as well. Just to pat. and blend that out. Right, I'm going to put some mascara on now. This is the one from Essence Volume Stylist Mascara and this is 18 hours. I don't know who wears the makeup for 18 hours but I suppose you never know. I know a few of you have been in touch to say you've been into Wilkinson's because this is where you get the Essence makeup range and you bought a few things and I'm so pleased that you really like what you've bought. That's that's wonderful to hear because obviously I can only tell you what I like and um, there's nothing worse than somebody spending their money and not liking a product. So I'm, I'm really pleased you like the Essence range. But I just think they're so affordable and they're re you get such great results. So um, good. I'm really pleased that you, you like what you've got. Now then, I've got um, a blush. I'm going to put a powder over the gel just so there's a more intense colour. This is from Lola and it's Colorette 009. Um, and I just love it. Absolutely love it. And you really get a lot of colour. Um, it pulls a lot of colour. So you just need a delicate hand. Just there. Just to give a bit more intensity on the apples of the cheeks. But it'll just extend the life of the powder as well. Having the gel underneath. And it's a matte blush. I know a lot of people like matte at the moment. So that's a nice matte choice. Right, for lips. Um, this is Max. Velvetese lip pencil in aim to please and i've not tried it i got it as a free gift when i got some lipsticks and bits from mac and i well thought i'd try it ah okay very smooth now that's not a color I would have gone for but I really like it I quite like that oh there you go you see you don't try these things you don't know aim to please velvetees yes I like it um because I am probably going out I'm going to whack some urban decay all nighter setting spray just to hold everything in place which it does um it does have temperature control which I find amazing what it does is it lowers the temperature so your makeup stays longer because it's cooler um so hot weather and also any ladies out there who are starting to get a little bit warm you know what i'm talking about anybody that's premenopausal menopausal just gets hot easily which i always have I always get a bit overheated and it's something I really hate. I hate feeling too hot. This just keeps everything in place. And again, you can go out and go dancing and painting the town red and your makeup looks fabulous. So I even like the smell. It's got a little bit of an aroma to it and I love it. So that's, yes, I really like that lip. That's it. Um, I'll leave my hair up because it just takes me even longer to faff with the fringe and everything. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. We have no Betty today, you may have noticed. She has been quite a regular feature. She's actually out for a walk um, today with Craig. She's gone out with Craig today uh, to have a little adventure and to go sniffing and 
in the woods and everything which she absolutely loves doing so I'm Bettyless which feels really strange not to be aware of her lurking around and up to mischief but she will be back she will be back I know you all love to see her um, but she will make a return um, at some point until then everybody bye for now